All right, so I'm about to spend 24 hours with this new LG Gram 2-in-1 super lightweight laptop. And so I didn't remember the actual model number, but I'm gonna throw it up here on the screen here for you. So yeah, the first thing we need to do is get this thing unboxed so I can actually use it. So let me flip it over. And I think I have some tape here. No, oh, yeah, let me get close for you. Whew, there's one and there's two and boom there we go oh i thought we'll see the laptop but we have this little board right here oh what is this you can assemble the pieces like the picture above after cutting them slide the calendar left and right to match the current month you can use it every year i don't know what this is but i'm going to take a look at it later and yes yeah, so i'm gonna get this to the side here and we have the uh, power adapter and this is coming in at what 65 watts coming in at 65 watts and it does use a uh, USB-C cable on the end to be able to plug into one of the USB-C ports on this laptop. And we also have this stylus pin and slide this out. And so yeah, this will work with the pin touch compatible display here on this laptop. And that's LG's kind of line of displays that you can write on to sign context, draw, play some games, do whatever here. So I'll test that here a little bit later. And I don't know what we have under here. It looks like we have a uh, an adapter here, USB-C to what? HDMI. And so yeah, this is nice just in case you want to hook this laptop up to a monitor or a TV to be able to get a bigger screen experience. But let me get this out the way. And now, like I always say, it's time for the star of the show, the 16 inch LG Gram here. And man, look, already I can tell you this thing is super light. It feels like I'm just kind of holding like a uh, magazine or something, really super light. So let's get this uh, cover off here. If I can do it. All right, there we go. And we have some more plastic to remove. And ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's really satisfying. And let me flip it over. There's nothing on the back, so we don't need to take off anything there. But yeah, look at this, man. Very nice matte black finish here for this laptop. And let's open it up. And we have this little kind of screen protector here. And let me get this thing turned on. And while this thing is booting up for the first time, you know this is going to take a while. Let me go ahead and test out the keyboard. Ooh, that keyboard feels good too. Everything is feeling good on here. And I'm assuming this is a backlit keyboard. I think that is correct. So the keyboard feels good. You have a number pad right here for people who like to crunch those numbers. And then also you have a really big size uh, trackpad right here. It does support gesture support. So you can do those type of things with Windows 11. Oh, and as far as the ports on the left-hand side, you will find two USB 4 Gen 3 type C ports and these will support power delivery, display port and Thunderbolt 4. Then next to those, you will find a headphone port. And then when you flip over to the right-hand side, you will be finding one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, and then also you will be finding a micro SD card slot. And look, I'm not going to bore you through the whole setup process and updates and all that stuff, but let me go over some of the general specs of this laptop. So, 16 inch screen coming in with a resolution of 2560 by 1600, and it is a touchscreen IPS LCD display. It does come with Windows 11 Home, and it is rocking the Intel Evo 12th Gen Intel Core i7 1260p 12 core processor, and also does does have Intel XC graphics and it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD. So that should be plenty fast. And you get Wi-Fi 6C and also a 72 watt hour lithium battery inside of this. So look, I'm about to use this overnight. I'm gonna watch some videos on it and test out this 16 inch screen. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow and take it out for a spin. All right, so we're out here the next morning. I bet you weren't expecting this angle, <laughs> but I'm taking out one of my electric bikes here. I've been doing some filming while we have a break in the rain. And today has been a very foggy day. You can see here on the Mississippi River, I'm over here by the uh, St. Louis Arch. Beautiful foggy day. But anyway, um, I wanted to bring the laptop out with me because I actually have it in my backpack right now. So this is a 16 inch laptop and my backpack is rated for a 15 inch laptop, but I was able to make it fit. And that's partly due to the thinness of this laptop because it is only 0.67 inches thick. So this thing is thin. And then you combine that with the weight of the laptop because it's all in the name, right? LG Gram. So this thing weighs 1.48 grams and that works out to 3.26 pounds. So look, there are some laptops that weigh less than this, right? But not that many laptops that I've come across that are 16 inch laptops that only weigh this little. So it's pretty impressive that they were able to get everything stuffed inside of here, but also keep that thinness and that weight down. And actually, let me pull over here because I wanted to uh, kind of test out this new bag that I got for my bike. And I wanna see if the laptop can actually fit in this. So let me get this thing on. Yeah, 
yeah, this isn't going to work. I just wanted to try it out, but this wouldn't be a great idea unless you had some type of sleeve on the laptop to protect it. But yeah, it's just too tall. But anyway, it was worth a shot. And all right, so let me sit down for a second. I'm getting old, people, I'm getting old. But yeah, I like the fact that this laptop does have Windows Hello. So when I open it up and I go to log in, it can just use facial recognition to log me in without having to enter in my passcode or anything. And as I said it before in the unboxing, this does come with Windows 11 Home, which I like this operating system. It's sleek, it's kind of simplified, um, it's fast. And then also I love the way that you can manage your open windows. So you can drag a window up towards the top of the screen and it'll give you some options as far as how you can have it laid out on the screen. And then if you want to add multiple apps, you can go ahead and organize it that way too. Oh, and last night after I unboxed this, I did watch some YouTube videos and also some Netflix videos on this. And I have to tell you, I like the screen. So it comes in at 300 nits, which is going to be plenty bright for indoors, but also outside, I do have a little bit of backlight behind me. It's not the ideal situation, but the screen is holding up pretty well. But yeah, I like the colors and I like the kind of the clarity of the screen when I was watching YouTube videos and stuff. And the screen is also made out of Gorilla Glass 7. So, you know, normal everyday use should be fine. If you drop it, I'm not gonna tell you it's not gonna break, but uh, it definitely is gonna have some durability with it. Oh, and I did mess around with the stylus a little bit last night. And I have to say for a bundled stylus that comes with the laptop, sometimes they can suck, but this one was pretty responsive. I was doing some kind of uh, paint work or just drawing. I'm not going to call it paint, but I was actually just you know, scribbling on the screen and it seemed to be very accurate and responsive. And also I use it to play some solitaire on this thing and also to navigate the operating system as well. So it's pretty fun, especially because this is a touch screen, but I don't always like to use my fingers because it gets fingerprints on the screen. So having this stylus to be able to use definitely is, is fun to use. And especially if you want to use it for signing contracts and doing work or taking down notes when you are in class in college or something, it's going to be good for that. But one thing on my wish list for the next version of this laptop would be one way to be able to magnetically store or attach the stylus to the laptop so you always have it with you. Right now, you just have to remember to throw it in the bag with you when you are ready to leave. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm able to see my hairline in the display of this uh, camera. And I was like, man, I need to get a haircut. And I almost forgot that I have a haircut in about an hour right now. So let me go ahead and pack up and get on my way back home, get in the car and go get that done because I need it. Ugh. <laughs> running late but oh hey Kitty, how you doing sorry oh hey i don't have any food sorry all right so i just left the barber shop and my barber did his best with my hairline here we got a garbage truck over there picking up trash but i thought this would be a good opportunity to test out the built-in webcam which can record video up to 1080p at 30 frames per second and i think it can take like two megapixel photos if you want but yeah this is how the webcam looks and also i'm using the built-in microphone so yeah if you want to use this for zoom calls stuff like that i think the video quality from what i can see looks good And okay, so now we're back in the studio and I'm happy because it is still a rainy mess outside, but we're right under 24 hours. And so I wanted to show you one last thing here. And that's the fact that this does run Amazon Alexa and it's probably gonna hear me say Alexa. Yeah, it did. Uh, what's the weather today? Might as well do a demo. The weather is 47 degrees Fahrenheit with rain. Tonight, you can look for clouds and showers with a low of 34 degrees. Okay. All right. So that's how it works. So this is going to be great. If you have a bunch of other Alexa enabled devices, you can control your, <laughs> you can control your lights. Let me go ahead and close this, man. You can control your lights, your refrigerator, different things that do run Amazon Alexa. So I love that being built in. But if you still want to use the original assistant Cortana, you can still do that if you want. And so with that, that wraps up my 24 hours here with the LG Gram. So look, there are some other uh, laptops that have beefier GPUs and RGB lights and stuff all over the place. And those things are cool, but this one is a laptop's laptop, right? It definitely gets the, the basics done right. And I think when you look at something that's going to be portable, uh, it's not going to weigh you down when you are traveling with it in your bag, but still has the performance for those everyday tasks and getting things done or watching some videos or movies or whatever. This laptop really kind of checks all of the boxes, but the big thing is just how lightweight this thing is. And it really doesn't weigh nowhere near as other uh, 16 inch laptops out there. So they did a great job with the, uh, the build quality of this. So I'm gonna drop a link down below in the description of this video for this laptop and that will have some of the latest pricing. So I'm not gonna say 
the pricing right now because that can change depending on when you're buying it, sales and all that other stuff. So yeah, just check that link down below to get more updated pricing. And with that, I'm out of here. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.